Have you been looking at these hot sectors like electric vehicle, NFTs, the non-fungible tokens, which have been going wild everywhere on the internet and wondering why can I not catch these stocks? They're just skyrocketing without me. Let me tell you this. When I first started trading back in 2018, 19, I would see hot sectors go without me. Drop shipping, the weed sector, and many more. And I'd be like, oh my God, I'm, I'm missing all of these. But you know what it taught me? Over time, you'll see them over and over. They always come and go. And you'll get better at recognizing, better at trading them, and learn really how to trade them. But instead of you sitting there wondering, okay, Alex, are you just gonna tell me that I need to spend the next three years watching these? No, I'm gonna tell you this one rule right now that really, really helped me trade hot sectors, and that is follow the leader. There's always a leader in every sector. So in this case, let's use an example of GameStop. You guys all know GameStop just went wild, right? So it really wasn't just a hot sector of entertainment because we had costs, AMC, Express, GME, GameStop, right? It was more a hot sector of highly shorted stocks. Now, let me give you one advice. You need to pick the leader right away. In this case, it was GameStop. GameStop was the leader. It had the most volume, had the most range. It was going like crazy. And what you wanna do is find the soldiers. Find the people who follow the leader. AMC, Express, KOSS, and then you watch them. And don't just jump in them right away. Don't listen to this. If you end this video right now, you're not gonna do well. If you just go, okay, follow the leader, boom. No, you need to watch the whole organization. You need to watch GME, KOSS, AMC, Express, and you'll see after about a day, when GME does this, goes down, does AMC follow right after? Does KOSS follow? And if it does, pay attention how long it takes, how it kind of does its own thing. Does it does its own thing? Is it a rogue soldier? If it is, you might want to avoid that one, or maybe, Pay attention to that one if it does something different and you can see a setup, right? You look at the leader. If the leader goes down and you recognize that AMC also goes down with it, follows suit, then there's your edge. I myself actually use the same advice that I'm giving you right now. I traded AMC throughout the entire run of GME because AMC followed suit maybe a minute later. So that little lag time gives you the edge to jump in it short or long. That's something I wish someone would have told me. And I wish someone would have told me to hit that like button, subscribe and hit the bell so that way you guys can get more content like this. And don't forget, we have that join button there too. By the way, the one last thing I wanna let you know is when you look at the leader, cause I mentioned rogue soldier, right? You're like rogue soldier, why would I even pay attention to that person? Like winter soldier? No, I'm just kidding. But what I'll tell you is this. If all the stocks are following GME, GameStop, right? Follow me here. GameStop goes up and all the other stocks go up with it. But you have this one rogue stock that's going down. Pay attention to that. Just note that, right? And then the next day, GameStop goes down. And then the rogue soldier goes up. That's interesting. Even though it's acting different. But maybe the rogue soldier stock sets up for a great breakout and GameStop is tanking, so are all the other stocks. Don't be afraid to buy that Rogue Soldier because it's already shown you for two days that it does its own thing because what happens sometimes is the Rogue Soldier or another soldier, doesn't always have to be the Rogue, can become the leader. So don't be scared to buy that breakout if the other ones are tanking, if you've paid attention to it and not just go, oh, out of nowhere, I think this is the rogue soldier. Let me just buy this. No, you need to be aware and watch it for the couple of days, maybe just one, two days. You can't make assumptions and don't use this rule as a black and white rule. As soon as something squeezes and goes up high, like we have another hot sector, NFTs. Just because all NFTs, as soon as they mention NFTs are part of their stock and they go up, doesn't mean you just wanna be like, okay, there's a hot sector, I'm gonna buy the next NFT, it goes up. You need to see them go up together. You need to see them react together. It's not a rule that's just, okay, I'm just gonna do it now right away. It's a rule of pay attention and learn something and you do that more often, you'll be more comfortable. And if you're gonna trade this way, trade small, really, really, really small, because that was a little bit bigger, but really small. So that way, you can learn and be comfortable. And that way, the next time the sector comes, you'll be ready.
Hey girl, you gonna keep growling like that? This is my Sydney girl. Thanks guys. <laughs>